we are saying, let's be clear, that the evolution of consciousness is a fallacy. There is no psychological evolution, or the evolution of the psyche. Yes, and since the future of mankind depends on the psyche, it seems then that the future of mankind is not going to be determined through actions and time. Mind is universal, not polluted by thought. You only have your brain, which is conditioned. You can't say it's my mind. What lies beyond thought when thought is silent is attention. Attention is without activity of thought. Undirected attention of the mind contacts the brain as long as the brain is silent. Attention can only be, when self is not. But those cells that are conditioned, whatever they may be, evidently dominate consciousness now, right? Yes. Can those cells be changed? We are saying that they can through insight. Insight being out of time. This insight will be through the action of the mind, intelligence, and attention. Where there is that insight, intelligence wipes away suffering. There is contact from mind to matter which removes the whole physical chemical structure which keeps us going on with suffering. That's right. In that ending, there is a mutation in the brain cells. T hat mutation just wipes out the whole structure that makes you suffer. Matter is limited, thought is limited. Yet we are saying that the pure energy of mind is able to reach into the limited energy of man. Yes, that's right and change the limitation.